Thanks for the backup, boys. Is my GoPro on, Billy? Recording? Yeah. What's going on, everybody? I got some new footage I'm excited to share with you guys. Uh, we went out Cobia diving. First day we were out there, there was a lot of cobia on sharks, like 40 plus cobia on sharks, but they were way down deep. We tried bringing them up, we're grunting at them, using the flasher. I've been waiting for a while for the cobia to come back. It's some of the best dive footage in my opinion. It's truly epic. It kind of captures how intense uh, spearfishing while freediving can be. We shoot these big old 20, 40 pound fish and have to contest with the sharks to get them up to the surface. And then once we're on the surface, we got to worry about not getting roped up in our own spear gun line and drowned. Uh, it can be tricky, you just gotta be calm. While we were drifting, dangling our flasher, we uh, ran into Blue Gabe. He was cobia fishing and he managed to catch a couple and some nice tuna as well. And uh, he invited us on his boat out the following day. Uh, we went out there, tried to cast net some bait for the guys to fish with, and then went straight to a drift, started drifting uh, with the flasher trying to chum up some coves. Gabe had never uh, speared a Kobe off a shark. Kelly's a uh, well-established shark diver, so nothing new for her there, but we were really excited to hopefully get uh, Gabe on his first Kobe. We did a few drifts, uh, got a little bored of it. We weren't really seeing much, so we decided to uh, anchor up for a bit and throw out a good amount of line behind the stern off Gabe's contender. Of course, as soon as me and Billy get out of the water, uh, Gabe gets in and he sees uh, a shark with a few Kobe on it gets all excited, we're all excited, we're not ready, we don't have dive gear on, so we're gearing up as fast as we can. Uh, and while we're doing that, Gabe and Kelly take a drop, and we can tell they'd shot one, so it was it was a sprint to get in there. Uh, I jumped in, I see that Gabe had speared a nice Kobe, a great holding shot, uh, pretty much right through the head there, and uh, decided not to shoot a backup shot in his fish, and instead to shoot the other Kobe that was uh, sitting right up underneath his, very uh, conveniently, might I say. So he pretty much spoon fed me a cobia. Uh, it was kind of funny because we were there supposed to show him how to get cobia and instead he uh, puts one in my lap. After that, we ran out a bit deeper, uh, found some nice weed lines and we're hoping to find some cobs there. And as soon as we get in, I hear uh, Gabe and Kelly yelling, dolphin, dolphin, dolphin. So I'm looking, scouring the surface, trying to figure out where these dolphin are. And there's a few, a lot of small ones. So we're being patient, trying to find a, a nice sized one. And, uh, Kelly and myself both, man both managed to get one of those. Uh, it was a great day out in the water, man. Anytime you can get a Kobe and a Mahi in the same day, that's a good day, man. Big thanks to Gabe and Kelly for having us out there, man. And we had an absolute blast. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and stop talking here and just show you what happened because it, uh, it was an epic day.
Yeah, dude, that's a nice one. If you don't know, that was my first time ever doing it off shark. I came in and he was stoned, so he did all you could do. He might be an inch short. We're gonna have to measure him. He's close. You think so? Yeah. Alright. I never can't tell with Kobe, man. When they got those markings, they look young. I was like looking to put a second shot in yours and he wasn't moving at all. I'm like, I guess I'll shoot the other one. I agree. All we gotta do is stay out of the water or stay right at the motor. Well, they gotta be 33 to the fork. He's legal, that fish is plenty big. Hard to ask for a better day than that. Um, super thankful for Gabe and Kelly taking us out there and uh, all you new followers that came my way from their video, I really appreciate you guys. I'm gonna be doing my best to pump out as much content as I can. It's gonna be hard to follow up a video like that, but I'm gonna do my best. Thanks so much for watching guys, have a good one.